Okay, in this video, we're going to look at an alternative to using the start button that we have here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to install something that was provided for the old version of Windows 8 before they released Windows 8.1 called Classic Shell. So we're just going to go to Google and type in Classic Shell. And here we have the start menu and other windows enhancements. Okay, so Classic Shell gives you the the original start button here. So let's just download this. Let's wait for that to finish there. Now let's click on here. Okay, let's click next. Agree to the license terms. Click next. Okay, this is just where it's going to, to install it. Click install. And it's just installing like any other program. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start and then we're gonna go let's uh just to make this quick, let's go by date installed. Okay, so now you'll see we have Classic Shell here. So we have Classic Shell Start Menu. This is what we want here. And then we have a choice of the menu style. So we have the Classic Style, Classic with two colors, and Windows 7 style. So you just pick the one you want here. And then we're going to replace the Start button that's, that we have down here. And you'll see that now we have the start button down there. So we can have arrow, classic, or custom. And then you can pick your own image for custom. So let's just go with classic. Now at this point you have a fully functional start menu, but there are other options you can use here. So we have some basic settings and then you can just decide how you want it to work and there's a lot of things in here I'm not going to go through it all but as you see you can set the functions to work the way you want them here you have your skin customize the start menu okay so and there's some advanced button options here but if we just leave it at the defaults okay so now when we go Click on it, you'll see something you're used to here. Okay, so down the right side we have our what we are used to seeing over here, and then we have our all programs here. And you can reach everything through that side. Okay, so that's how you can put your start button back on there so that you have the desktop experience that you're used to and you don't have to go back and forth into the start menu. So that's an alternative if you don't want to use the way that's provided to you by Windows 8. Okay, in the next video we're going to go over setting up our desktop.